Hello people, um, last week's video was the first time I feel like I sat down and actually spoke to you guys. My favourite kind of videos are a bit like last week's video, where there's a bit of drone footage, you can see me doing things, I can talk to you at the same time, but sometimes I think it's quite nice to do a sit down video and have a little catch up, and I think you guys enjoy it too. Ah, oh, there's a spider that just, uh, just like worked its way inside here. This is inside our annex, which you have seen when we did it up, kind of, we haven't finished doing it up yet, we haven't got a kitchen or anything, um, but you saw it when we were like painting the beams and all that jazz. So that's where I am today, because what I've discovered since living with my parents, and actually just in the countryside in general, is it's very hard to find a room that's okay to film in. The, we have a really nice open space kitchen, but obviously like, you hear like the washing machine going, or the dishwasher going, or someone's in the kitchen, so you can't film there. That noise spreads to the dining room and the living room um, because we haven't got any furniture, so it's super, super, super echoey. It's probably echoey for you right now, and I'm sorry about that. Yeah, we just haven't got any furnishings. Upstairs needs to be decorated, um, so it looks a bit empty and bare and doesn't look very pretty on camera. So you're, you're seeing the annex today, hopefully that's all right. Um, and I'm going to answer some of your questions. So I asked you on Instagram stories to ask me some questions, and you did, so let me get those up. What's it like buying a house with my husband and parents? Weirdly normal. I'm aware that it seems very weird to other people, but I think because Ryan had lived with my parents before we bought our first home together, and that felt completely normal. So normal that it felt weird to move out, and Ryan was like, why are we rushing the situation? Like, why don't we just wait and save a bit more money? Felt like it was the right thing to do was buy a house and get on the property ladder. And don't get me wrong, I'm so pleased we did that and we were so lucky to be able to do that. But what I mean is, we really got on with my parents, it wasn't like a form of escape. So yeah, so it's really working. I mean, Ryan still works all day, um, and he has an office for that. Eventually he wants to be able to like create a business here so that he doesn't have to work so much at a job that he doesn't enjoy. I usually work most of the time, if I need to do something, I'll work in his office, like if I'm on a call or something. Otherwise I'm obviously vlogging and things like that, and on my phone and my laptop, wherever I want to be. Um, my dad's usually quite busy mowing the lawn, to be honest. He's found his calling in life, and we've got four acres of lawn to mow, so um, the grass needs cutting all the time. And then yeah, I spend a lot of time with my mum. Like, it works really well, we have our own separate spaces in the house. My parents have like the loft space, which is actually pretty big, and they have an ensuite, and they have their bedroom, and then there's like another bedroom, another room slash bedroom that goes off on that, which we think might have a sofa and a TV in or something for them, and then, um, or more of like a man cave for my dad, and then me and Ryan have our room on like the first floor, like of the normal house, um, and yeah, and then downstairs, I mean there's a few bedrooms on that floor as well, so like when we have guests and stuff, that's where they stay, or Henry or Amelia. I'm babbling, I'm getting too excited. Ne on to the next question. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I would like to have kids. Um, I would like to have a business set up on the land here. So we're thinking like maybe glamping or something like that. Yeah, definitely, or an Airbnb property or something like that. So definitely a business going, hopefully multiple to be honest. And that Ryan is working a lot less in the job he, he does right now because it's just not a job that he really enjoys. He likes being outdoors more, I think most of us do, but luckily, well hopefully we'll be in this position where we can do that. Do you plan on making a tour of your new house slash land as a YouTube video? A hundred percent, a hundred percent, but realistically I don't think it'll be till next year because basically we plan, we want to do lots of stuff to the house. Um, I mean, we haven't even ordered like chairs to sit on yet, or anything like that. Our sofas have just arrived. Um, so yeah, we want to do that, but I don't think we'll make the house what we want the house to look like until next year. Like, we're thinking that we'll focus on the garden for as long as the sun's out, basically, and it's not too cold. And then when it gets colder into the autumn and winter, we'll start to do work on the inside of the house. I'm not all about like, you know, we plan to have like new bathrooms and things. Realistically, they won't be done for the video tour, but it would be nice to have some furniture in there, have some pictures on the walls, things like that. So yes, the answer is yes, but not for a good while, I'm afraid. I hope that's okay. I just, I don't want to feel like I can't show you anything. 
I just want to feel like we've fully unpacked out of our boxes and stuff before I show you around the house. And that's not the situation we're in at the moment. We're too busy trying to put a poly tunnel up at the moment. So, yeah. Yes, but not yet. Kids, would I like kids? Yes, yes I would. Um, yeah, both me and Ryan want kids. Not quite yet, but we, like, we're talking about it. Um, so not too far away either, like in the next few years, definitely, um, if we can. Uh, yeah, 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 in the, in the next few years, it's definitely like something we're talking about. Do I wish I had two hands? Um, no, <laughs> I don't know why I had to pretend I was thinking about that. No, I absolutely love having one hand. And I'm not just saying this, I've had so many crazy opportunities because of having one hand. Um, and yes, I could come into the argument of positive discrimination and things like that. But I also think it comes down to me like wanting to prove people wrong when I was younger. I wouldn't have done half the things I did when I, young, I was younger if it wasn't because I wanted to prove that I could do it because I have one hand. I feel like I'm more confident because of it. Um, I care less about other people's opinions, although I do care a little bit. But I, I think I care less than the average person, especially if I'm like comparing myself to my sister. Um, I don't think I would have got into like fashion and my love for clothes and standing out if it wasn't for having one hand. So yeah, I am, um, yeah, there's, there's nothing I would change. I am who I am. It, and also, to be honest, if someone said, you know, we could give you a second hand now, I think that would feel alien to me. And I just don't think I'd be the person that I feel like I am. I don't know, I just, I just think it would be weird. I love having one hand and I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah. Why am I so cool? Um, <laughs> um, this is a really nice compliment, but I don't think I am very cool. Uh, I actually said like the other day to my mum that like my love for gardening has really come out in the past two years and I just don't think, although it should be a cool thing, I don't think it is that cool. Like I turned from someone who um, used to go to like events in London and premieres and fashion events and worked for ASOS and things, which I think to the mo most humans that's quite a cool thing to do, to now um, walking around gardens and like just sitting in my vegetable garden and loving life. Now, I think to me that is a really cool, cool thing, cool, um, but I think to most people that's not that cool, which is why I'd argue that I'm probably not that cool, but I'll take it. I will take it. You could argue, though, that finding what you enjoy and it not uh, ruining the planet is a cool thing. But I reckon most people would argue against that, yeah. So there we go, that was a little Q&A. Quick, short, fast, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions, pop them down below and I actually promise I'll reply to every single one. Um, if you're asking a question, not if it's just like, hi, um, because I never know what to say back other than hi. But yeah, ask any questions below if you have any and I will answer them and I hope to see you again soon. I would like to know as well, I've got a question for you, what kind of videos you enjoy? I love making, um, well I like making a mixture, but I like making like the droney, pretty videos and I like sitting down talking to you guys, but I, I think I prefer the artistic start side of things and editing a video that's like looks pretty and things, but I just don't know if that's what everyone else enjoys watching. Do people enjoy looking at my vegetable garden as much as I enjoy looking at my vegetable garden? I don't know. So let me know. Um, I actually do TikToks now, so if you want to follow me on TikTok, 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 uh, then make sure you go in the description below. I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying the fact that people are seeing my videos that have never seen my videos before, which is I feel like where is you wet, and I feel like that's where YouTube lacks personally. Um, no one, half the people that are subscribed didn't realise I uploaded videos anymore until they found a video on TikTok, which I think is just hilarious because I was like, I never stopped creating videos. Um, so yeah, that's the problem with YouTube, but rant over. Uh, yeah, so I'm also creating TikToks as well, so head over there if you'd like to see some short content. And it is actually different most of the time to the content that I'm putting up on YouTube, apart from the, the occasional clip of a chicken. So yeah, thanks very much for watching guys, and I will see you next week, or this week. It depends when this video goes up, to be honest. I'm not promising anything. And I'll see you soon.